Good morning, everyone. Day two of um, Waiting for Pentecost. I'm doing a live at 10 a.m. EST um, this week. As we prepare for Pentecost, I'm going to pray for us. Father, in the name of Jesus, I just pray that God, you will anoint and bless and um, you will just anoint this broadcast right now in Jesus' mighty, mighty name. I pray for a mighty rushing wind of the Holy Spirit to just blow over uh, the words that are spoken in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. God bless you. I'm going to wait until some of you come on. I, I think yesterday I did say that I'm going to do this on a daily basis. I hope that these words are encouraging as we wait on the Lord. It's a prophecy hour as we uh, await for Pentecost Sunday and um, prepare for the summer. Today, the word I have for you is wait and see what the Lord will do. Wait on the Lord. And I was reminded of how in the in the book of Acts, um, the disciples were waiting on the Lord in the upper room. And I'm sharing this um, today's broadcast actually in Light Beam East Coast group. Now, I haven't been really um, active in our Light Beam groups. It's just I've been so, uh, you know, instead of doing the written <laughs> prophecies, I've been doing a lot of videos lately. And so, but I didn't want to share this with the Light Beam East Coast group. So if you're watching through that channel, God bless you. And, uh, you know, I just, uh, there were so many, there were a few things that God had highlighted this morning, but I feel like God is saying, just wait and see, because some of you are in a situation where you feel like you're falling behind. You feel like God's promises are being delayed. You feel like uh, you did everything you can to redeem a situation or you did everything you can to obey the Lord, but you need to kind of wait on the Lord and see what God will do. You're waiting for the upper hand of God to show up. You're waiting for the justice of the Lord to come come for you and you've kind of been in a waiting season but I feel like God is saying he's going to give you faith to wait you know faith are, is two things faith is taking risks for Jesus and also faith is waiting waiting in hopes that God will come through and while we wait do not be discouraged so we are waiting for this Sunday that God will just shift things in the atmosphere so I just break off any discouragement off of you in Jesus name I break off anything that is not of God right now in Jesus mighty mighty name I pray for a mighty rushing wind of the Holy Spirit to come upon you. I'm going to release some prophetic encouragements to you. If you have been waiting for um, confirmation and manifestation of God's promises and the prophetic word, I want you to receive this word. God is pleased with you. God is so happy that you have been, you have not given up and, uh, you know, um, that you have not uh, back down that you're still waiting on the promises of God you know at the end we have to trust in the character of God the devil tries to turn us against God's character and how good God is but God is not a liar the devil is a liar so I break off any lies of the enemy that came in between you and the Lord where you may you know the enemy try to deceive you into thinking that maybe the word that you heard from God is not from the Lord how many of you have um, doubts sometimes that creep in? And I just break off any doubt in Jesus' mighty, mighty name. The Lord is saying, I'm sending even prophets out of nowhere to speak confirmation to you. I am sending the encouragement. I'm sending the manifestation into reality. The things that I've spoken to you, it will manifest in reality in Jesus' name. So I'm going to get into the... Um, just a, a prayer mode and I'm just going to release what I see in the spirit as I encourage you to wait and see what the Lord will do for you. But in this season of waiting, I see a lot of you where the enemy has shut your eyes so you can't see. Your eyes have been blinded. It's almost like the devil put, you know, like a, like a pepper spray or something. Try to blind your eyes and blind your vision. If you've been struggling with vision, I just break it off and cancel in Jesus' name. May your vision come to pass. May your vision open up. May the of Jesus. May your vision open up. May your eyes open. May you see clearer. Some of you have had fog in front of you, witchcraft in front of you, and uh, the enemy trying to stir up trouble and blind you. I, br I break it off in Jesus' name. I break it off in Jesus' name. I break off every I break off every fog in Jesus' name. Did I just come in and out? I'm so sorry, but I'm just going to, I believe we're still on. If you can just uh, still hear me, can you just say yes and amen? I think the Wi-Fi was in and out, but can you all hear me okay? Yeah, just give me a yes. Um, yeah, I think you can. So, you know, I break off every fog. So what I'm praying for is that your vision will clear up. Your eyesight will come back. The enemy try to blind you. And, you know, how does the enemy blind you? How does the enemy bring... Um, confusion, you know, it is through witchcraft. It is through giving you um, a pair of sunglasses that that are darker, that they that that you really can't see clearly. 
you know, ka ra ra ba shu ko ro ro ba ka wa ya ra la ya ra ra ba shu ko ro ro ba ka wa ya ra la ya ra ra. The enemy came in and slipped in a pair of sunglasses, so things look darker. Well, I break that off in Jesus' mighty, mighty name. The Lord is saying, I'm removing those those darker glasses or colored glasses. It's 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 a filter, the demonic filter. The demonic filter, I break it off in Jesus' name. You've had demonic filters that come against you and you put it on without you knowing. God is saying, I'm removing the filter of negativity. I'm removing the filter of lack of faith. I'm removing the filter of um, oppression, of, I don't know, any anything sinis, uh, cynical. I'm removing the filter that is unbiblical. I'm removing the filter of your own hurts and pains. God is saying, I'm removing the filters in Jesus' mighty, mighty name. The Lord is saying, you will now see clearly what I have called you to do. I want you to share this on your wall. Day two, we're say, we're, I'm speaking to you and saying, wait and see what the Lord will do. God, remove the filters in people's eyes, the glasses where the enemy tricked them into seeing through things. And, and because of these filters that the devil has put in our eyes, we couldn't quite see clearly. We saw the vision of God when we had received the Lord way before, but then the, the vision shifted and changed, changed. And the Lord is saying to you, God's word never changed. Changes. God's vision never changes. God's word and his vision does not shift and change. God's vision and his word does not change. So I break it off in Jesus' mighty, mighty name. God is saying, I'm removing the witches. I'm removing the hindrances. And, and another word I have this morning as I was preparing to release wor this word was, um, the harassment is leaving. Those who have harassed you with small things, those who harassed your spirit, God is saying, I'm removing the spirit of harassment. I'm removing the spirit of harassment. In Jesus' mighty, mighty name, I break off harassment. I break off every negativity. I break off every wolves and sheep's clothing, every, even false prophecies. Some of you had um, false prophets come in and drop false prophecies into you that created doubt in you, that created a deviation, that created distraction. I cancel every false prophecy right now in Jesus' mighty, mighty name. I cancel every false prophecy right now in Jesus' mighty, mighty name. New emerging prophets, a group of a company of prophets are rising right now in Jesus' name. God is saying, I'm raising up a company of prophets. Do not give up. I'm raising a company of prophets who have the filter that only I give. Those prophets who, who prophesied according to the wrong filter, their words will not come to pass. And God is saying, I'm giving you discernment to know which prophecies to receive and which prophecies to basically discard in this next season. So Father, I pray for cleansing of the filter. I pray for removal of the false filters that cloud our eyesight. So Father, I pray for restoration of the vision in Jesus' name. And I declare over you, even Los Angeles outpouring in the revival, it is really to pursue revival of America. It is really to pursue the overturning and reformation of the, the church of the nations. Father, I thank you that God, this is a season of reformation. Father, I thank you that this is a season of karara, church reformation, which is a radical word. Sometimes we use words that are so radical so commonly and people don't understand the radicalness of the words that are spoken. God is changing the, the, the way that we do church. God is changing the way that we operate and think, the way that we worship. It is shifting and changing the methods of ministry. There are some things that God is so not pleased with, with the established church, with the establishment of church and the, um, the, uh, uh, establishment of the church. God is not pleased with some of those things. So I pray that God, that you will just uh, bring an increase. And I just rebuke any pride of people who are watching this video in the, in the later uh, replay, any pride in people's hearts, any distraction, I just break it off in Jesus' mighty, mighty name. God is saying, do not be prideful. I am bringing down the prideful establishment of religious people who build up their religious walls and build up their kingdom. The, in the last days, God says, it's not going to be Ministries that build their kingdom will be rebuked, will be judged. But God is saying, who will build my kingdom? That is that there's a big difference. There's a big difference between building my kingdom in the name of Jesus and, and then building God's kingdom. 
building there's a big difference between that so god is calling the kingdom builders in this season in jesus mighty mighty name anoint anoint bless bless in jesus mighty mighty name there's a shift changing god is saying those who thought they were last will come to the front and be the first those who thought were first will be the last god is saying there's a shifting reordering taking place in the kingdom of god right now those who thought they were the first those who thought who were visible they will be pulled back and God is saying those in the hidden places, those who thought they were last, God is saying they're, God is raising these people up in this next season in Jesus' mighty, mighty name. Those who manipulated there's such a spirit of manipulation and witchcraft even in the prophetic charismatic world and god is saying i'm exposing the manipulation the subtle manipulation the the manipulation through money offerings fundraising the manipulation through uh, false prophecies uh catering to the flesh god is dealing with these spirit of manipulation father i pray that you would judge the manipulative spirits the 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 manipulative spirit that is tied to jezebel's spirit i pray that you would release judgment upon these uh, ministries that manipulate uh, with knowing or without knowing, out of ignorance or or in in knowledge, Father, I pray that you would judge, release a rod of judgment upon these ministries that are manipulative. In the name of Jesus, they are doing the wrong things. God, I pray that you would cleanse our hearts. The Lord is saying, I'm calling forth a pure bride who will only worship me and me alone, who will who understand the discernment between manipulation and pure prophecy. So, Father, I pray that you will bring rebuke upon prophets who manipulate people through their prophetic words and I, warriors just be aware if somebody comes to you with a word or a dream but it's actually intended to manipulate you it's actually intended to you to get you to do something god is saying i'm cutting soul ties in jesus mighty mighty name the lord the word of the lord this morning was wait and see what god will do for you many of you are in a waiting season many of you are in a pentecost waiting season the disciples were confused because jesus had died they didn't think that jesus would die but he took up the cross everything that transpired as he took up the cross was so confusing and they just didn't have the understanding of God that they waited on the Lord that when you're in a season in life when you don't understand what's going on you wait on the Lord you don't move until God tells you to because God puts you in an upper room of waiting and contending and battling and praying. And as you wait on the Lord, something happens. And when God brings something, number one, He initiates it. So wait until God initiates what He wants to do. Do not initiate yourself. There are times in your life where you cannot initiate. God is saying, just wait on the Lord. Wait on me because I will initiate. I will pour out my spirit. When God pours out His spirit, it's something that only He can do. We cannot manipulate it. We cannot manage manufacture it we cannot fake it we cannot bring it forth we cannot cr create it through magic see that's what that's the difference between different spirits you know when god intent god initiates an outpouring of the holy spirit it's something that only he can do so father i pray that that, that you would choose your uh, future disciples and uh, apostles and prophets who will be willing to wait in the upper room god is saying are you willing to wait in the upper room are you willing to wait on the lord to initiate do not get ahead of me says god god is saying do not step ahead of me says the lord do not get ahead of me father i pray that you would cleanse us from the tendency of wanting to get ahead in jesus mighty mighty name god i pray that you would release justice upon every unjust situation where we can't um really do anything about it but god i pray that you would release it in jesus mighty mighty name amen and amen father i thank you for this word of the Lord this morning on day two, I pray that as we wait on the outpouring of the Holy Spirit, that you would just bless us and you would just cover us with the blood of Jesus. Amen and amen. God bless you guys. Have a great day. And uh, yes, Pentecost Sunday, uh, Sunday night, um, we are in LA, Los Angeles, uh, Word International Church, LA. Um, we're going to have a Pentecost celebration. So if you're interested, please register. God bless you. Have a great day. Bye.